I was interested when I was in Saudi Arabia that there's now a national debate there where they're aware that the Muslim world is kind of on fire and that they have uh, an implication in this and they kind of know it. They know that their very, very narrow and bitter interpretation is causing these explosions. Why is it that Yemen, Libya, and Iraq, and Syria were things that were pretty cool and pretty calm between different sorts of people until very recently, and now the world's worst examples of intercommunal, very un-Abrahamic, inhospitable fighting. Well, they're conscious of it. So I just want to leave you with a, a few thoughts. Um, here is, as part of the national debate that they're now having on television between sheikhs who are uh, pro and anti the official uh, Salafist line. So here is Sheikh Abdul Kalbani, who is you know, from the establishment there and uh, a former Imam of, of, of the Haram in, in Mecca, talking about Daesh, which is the ISIS phenomenon in Syria, Iraq, and elsewhere. He says Daesh has adopted Salafist thought. It's not the Muslim Brotherhood's thought, Qutbism, Sufism, or Ashurite thought. They drew their ideas from what's written in our own books, from our own principles. The ideological origin is Salafism. They exploited our own principles that can be found in our own books. We follow the same thoughts but apply it in a refined way. Now, this is a real crisis for them. The kingdom is kind of uh, wobbly and we should be praying for its stability, I think, because its collapse into sectarian chaos would be a disaster for the Ummah and for the Haramain. We should be praying for the kingdom's stability evidently. But they're having this conversation at the moment and I saw a television uh, interview on Prince Walid's channel, Rotana, uh, with uh, one of the sheikhs, uh, Sharif al Awni, where he's written publicly in Al Hayat newspaper and other newspapers saying the reason why the old, inclusive, beautiful adab of good neighbourliness <laughs> between different communities of the Abrahamic world is now breaking down is because of certain ideas between the books of Muhammad and Abdul Wahab. You can see the interview on YouTube. It's kind of public knowledge. Everybody there is talking about it because their ideology comes from our ideology and we need to think very carefully about what we're exporting. So I think that we need to take the views of those Saudi sheikhs seriously and to respect the public debate that they're now having. They can see that wherever that ideology is going, people shout more loudly into the microphones, people are angrier about their non-Muslim neighbors, people are angrier about other interpretations of Islam, and countries which need everybody to be good neighbors are now apparently irreparably broken and torn up, and we weep for Syria and Iraq, and those places are dear to our hearts, and to see them collapse in this kind of unnecessary sectarian hatred between people who should be Abrahamic brethren is very painful. But these, these sheikhs in Saudi Arabia are now saying, these ideas, Salafist ideas, are an interpretation of our own books and our own ideas. And uh, Sharif al awni I saw him on TV, says, it's not coming from Sufism, it's not coming from Asharism, it's not coming from any other Islamic school of thought, where this interpretation of Salafia takes root in a country where people are ethnically diverse and the place has to be neighborly, it's sowing the seeds of a detonation. That's their view, and I suggest that we treat it with respect and, inshallah, because it's the